if any of you are anything like me at some point you were losing hope that you were going to be able to change your life and that is unacceptable <laughs> Each and every one of you has so much dreams and aspirations that they want to achieve and if the only thing that is holding you back from achieving them is you not being able to meet your expectations of yourself in relation to your body that is horrendous and I know how that feels and I just want to share my story so that anyone who's out there who is at that point of just thinking to themselves i just have to accept the way that i am even though they're not happy with the way that they are you don't have to accept the way that you are if you're not happy you can change it it is possible and i want to share my story to show you how i changed it uh, what I want to do is firstly talk about the things that I had to change in my mindset and the things that I had to understand in order to even start the journey. One of the first things that you need to understand is that this journey starts in the mind first. You have to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and believe that you can do this. Even if it is just the tiniest amount of belief, you have to have that belief within you that you are capable of doing this. Because if you don't have that belief, you're not going to be able to hold on to that when times get hard. And I have to say that even the very beginning of this journey is when it is mostly hard. So you need to hold on to that belief that you are capable and you need to show up for yourself on a day-to-day -day basis, believing that anything at all that you want to achieve in relation to, in relation to anything really, but in this um, context, in relation to your weight and in relation to your body and your health, that you are able to do it. So when, once you get that into your mind, once that takes root and then you start taking action so that that can grow, then you will start to see the results that you're looking for. And then the other part of it is this thing is so fundamental. Yeah, it is so fundamental and it is so simple. You just understand this in a very simple way and you can apply it in that simple way, then you'll be able to win. So people talk about you having to burn more calories than what you're consuming in order for you to lose weight. And it really, really is that simple. Because at the end of the day, the fat that you have on your body currently is because you ate food and I ate food and not burned off. And now I'm asking my body to come and burn off that food energy. And the only way that it's going to do that is if I'm giving it less food energy than what I'm burning off. And so if you can fundamentally understand in your mind each day as you consume the food that you're consuming, am I in a deficit of energy so that my body can take the energy that is already stored inside my body, which is my fat, and use it to make up that shortfall of energy that I haven't given it that day? If you can understand that, and if you can uh, work your, your diet, your nutrition and your movement, your exercise around making sure that you are in that deficit of energy for the day so that your body knows, OK, I have not received enough food energy to do all the things that this body requires me to do for this day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap into the stored food energy, which is the fat, and I'm going to use that to fuel the movement and everything that this body needs to do. Once you understand that, or once I understood that, it's like, it was like a moment of enlightenment because then I knew when I was looking at the food choices that I was making, when I was looking at the movement choices that I was making, am I contributing to my body having to tap into that food energy that is already stored on my body, which is my fat? And 
once that clicked for me and I started looking at my food choices, I started looking at my movement choices and started making choices that would help me to achieve that daily goal of my body tapping into my fat storage, that is when I started to see results. And if you don't take away anything else from this video, that is what I want you to take away. You have got to give your body a reason to go and tap into that food energy that you already ate but did not use up and that is your fat you need to give your body a reason to do that and the way to do that is through your nutrition and through your movement another huge thing that i came to understand is that i don't want to be the person that loses weight very very quickly and don't know that's not true I did want to be the person that loses weight very quickly and I still struggle at times with patience in terms of the fact that I want to lose. However, above and beyond all of that, I wanted to make sure that the fact that I lose does not ever come back on again. And because that is at the forefront of my mind, I know that losing fat extremely fast by... Um, cutting back on food drastically or exercising excessively is not going to help me to recognize that goal it's not going to help me to make sure that once this fat comes off it never returns and so for me the overriding thing that I wanted to do was be gentle with my body to let my body know that this thing that we're doing is a life thing it's a thing that we're going to now do forever more and so the things that I changed in my life and changed in my lifestyle, in my nutrition, in my movement, I've always had at the forefront of my mind that I only want to do things that I know that I can do going forward. I didn't want to do anything that I felt like I'm only going to do this for a little while and then when I see the results that I want to see, I'm going to go back to what I was doing before because I have already experienced that in my life enough to know that it's not sustainable and I don't want that anymore. That back and forth, that so-called yo-yo dieting, that is what contributes to you not being able to live the life that you want to live. Like some of you might be able to relate to this. Whenever I would take drastic action to lose weight, if I did manage to lose any amount of weight, there was always a fear attached to it that this weight was going to come back because I knew that the things I was doing to try and lose the weight, I was not doing things that I was going to be willing to or even able to continue into the far future. And so this time I knew for myself, any decision that you are taking about what you're going to do to release this fat from your body, you have to make sure that you are willing to take that into the future. And if you're not willing to take it into the future, then you're not going to do it. And it it may be harder to take a decision like that because it makes the journey take longer. And that's just the truth. But if you want to do it and do it once and for all, then you should be willing to let it take a bit longer because what is six months or one year out of a lifetime that you have ahead of you? Um, yes, everybody would love to just like have one month and lost all the weight. But would you have learned the strategies and the coping mechanisms in order to make sure that you can keep that weight off? And that is that is what I have learned through the process of going through this journey is that you need to be able to learn the strategies the coping mechanisms to take the weight off firstly and then to keep it off because there's so many reasons why people overeat and there's so many reasons why people eat food that is so high calorie that it's it's just basically consistently making them gain weight week to week month to month year to year and because there's so many reasons it's only as you steadily go through your journey that you begin to understand what your reasons are for why you've been overweight and so for me I wanted to be able to give myself the opportunity to learn the, those reasons so that I could address them so that when I reach my body goal I'm not going to be addressing them at that point because if I was addressing them at that point that's going to mean that I'm going up and down and that's what I don't want I want weight loss fat fat loss that 
is forever because I want to live my life. I no longer want my body to be the thing that is holding me back from living my life. I don't want my body to be the thing that is preventing me from making decisions about um, going out, putting myself forward, wearing this um, clothes that I want to wear. I want to be able to truthfully um, enjoy myself, enjoy myself. Yeah, enjoy myself if you if you can understand what I mean. When you see somebody and you look at them and you can just tell that person is feeling themselves. And for me, I have come to a place where I feel true joy for that person, even if I don't know them, because I know that in this world, there's so many things telling us that we're not good enough. So if a person has got to a place where they're able to look at themselves and truly feel themselves that that brings me joy and I wanted to experience I want to experience that joy for myself and so that's why I've been on this journey and that's why I'm sharing it with you the last thing that I want to say in this video is also about health I have always heard people saying that before you start to do something you need to think about your why because your why needs to be strong enough to sustain you through the journey of whatever that thing is that you are wanting to do. And I understood that. I understood um, that you should have a why and you should have a why that is strong. But at the same time, for me, I realised that whatever my why was of wanting to lose weight was not strong enough. Because if it had been, I would have already lost weight and kept it off all this time. And what happened was... I found myself taking drastic action in order to lose weight and through those drastic actions that I took, which I'll tell you about in another video, but it basically it was extreme eating habits that I was doing. I basically triggered an autoimmune disease in my body, which led to very, very unpleasant um, symptoms that were basically destroying my quality of life. And it took for that to happen to me, for me to make a decision that I was not going to be doing any fad diets. I was not going to be doing any quick fixes. I was going to make a decision to change my lifestyle, to make my lifestyle reflect what I wanted my body to reflect. If you think about some people in your life who they're fit, they're healthy, um, they have a great body, you know that there's things that go with that lifestyle, with that body, with that those goals there's a there's things that those people do day in and day out to make sure that they can maintain their body that they can maintain their physique if you're not willing to make those changes and make them stick then you know that 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 body is not going to be yours because it requires something right and it wasn't until my quality of life and my health had deteriorated to the extent that it was more a life and death Okay, maybe the, it, it wasn't a life and death thing, but it could have developed into that later on in life if I hadn't been willing to take care of it. And I don't want any of you to get to the point where your body is basically breaking down for you to take the decision to start seeking not only the body beautiful, but your health and that's why I'm going to be making all this series of videos to share my journey with you. And hopefully along that journey, some of you will be able to apply some of the things to your own lives and see progress in your own journeys. I hope that what I've said in this video has been helpful to you guys. And if it has, and if you can relate to anything that I've said, please go ahead and leave me some comments. I'd love to hear from you and respond to what you have to say. And I will continue to share my journey, especially um, in the area of health and what I've done to go about losing the weight so that you guys can really go through that journey with me and see and take away from it what you might need or find helpful. Uh, so thank you guys. If you've managed to get to the end of this video, I really, really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I hope to see you. Thank you.